you had an ex-husband and now he's scaring the wife and the new husband. We're quite sure that he's been around in spirit form. She felt connected to the spirit of the runaway slave boy. For whatever reason, his spirit is living in that basement. He attached himself to me. The temperature went from 76 to 80 on a command. Oh, Ooh. it went straight to oh 80 as soon as, I, as soon as I asked. We better stick figure on the SLS, and we believe it to be Jonathan. Jonathan, is that you? To your right side, Laura. I felt like we had to do our due diligence and see what kind of disturbances may be out there. Dory already found three bodies. Three bodies. If you keep talking, we're going to have to go to the trunk and get a shovel. Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm Juwan. I'm Daly. And I'm Marcus. And, and this, this is Ghost, Ghost Brothers, Brothers, The Haunted Cuts. Man, that bed and breakfast, mm -hmm. it was raining, it was foggy. <laughs> oh, it looked like it was Bro. Looked like a horror film. It's going to be good to sleep in a bed this time. You excited about getting comfortable in a haunted house? I had the most comfortable sleep I've yeah. ever had. Yeah, I was in, sleeping in, in a haunted location? Period. Period? The Ghost wow. Brothers, I want you to meet <laughs> my daughter, Laura, <laughs> and my husband, Ed. Welcome to our home. Meg and Ed, man, they were cool. They were good people. Really hospitable. Meg was probably like one of the most knowledgeable people uh, that I've ever come across when it came to history. Normally, you know, People don't know what's in their house. No, and she, but had she knew everything. Everything. This house could have been part of the Underground Railroad. There could be some unmarked graves within the property. She kept us on our toes, and I think that it was really cool that we were able to give her information that she didn't even know. I just thought this case was interesting because you had an ex-husband, and now he's scaring the wife and the new husband. My husband Skip passed from early onset Alzheimer's, and we're quite sure that he's been around in spirit form. I mean, I think what was awesome about this experience is just like its connection to history, yeah, especially the history that we can connect to. Right over here is the trap door where they put the slaves down, we believe, into the basement to be hidden Wow. for the Underground Railroad. This was the first time that we actually saw like the passageway yeah. that these slaves might have taken when mm -hmm. trying to escape to freedom. Well, people that? always claim that their houses are haunted and they don't know why. We are living with many spirits in this house. We feel them every day. You have artifacts, you have old furniture. There's going to be some paranormal activity going on in that place, so. And I can't stand when places have like those old pictures. Yeah, and, and then they're like, who's that haunting me? Uh, yeah, that guy right there. Right there, that, right here. He's for sure here. He's really watching you right now. One of the main ghosts they see in the bed and breakfast, John Bickford. The Bickfords ended up owning this property. John Bickford was one of the sons, and three days before his Harvard Law School graduation, he drowned in the Charles River. Whoa. Remember they experienced seeing him in the window in the second floor? In the John Bickford room. Now, this is the second floor window. There was a face looking in at me. The face of John Bickford? Yeah. Either he could jump really high, he got yeah. hops, or he was tall. He was okay. Tall. <laughs> we, got got a, we got a 13 footer. <laughs> 13 footer. We got a big one. We got a big one. You know what I thought was interesting, man? Is that how she felt connected to the spirit of the runaway slave boy? She felt like he followed her around everywhere. His name is Jonathan. For whatever reason, his spirit is living in that basement. He attached himself to me. I appreciate the fact that she was so nurturing to the idea of this spirit attached to her. Mm -hmm. Even like a couple hundred years later, I guess it's kind of cool for him to know that it's still people looking out. Looking for him. In that house, on that property, right? So I think before this investigation, if you were to ask me, Dalen, how many routes do you feel like there were for the Underground Railroad? I would probably say, I don't know, man, maybe 20, 30. After meeting with that historian, and she showed me a map of yeah. just New Hampshire, yeah. bro, it literally looked like veins running yeah. through the entire state. These red lines work our way all the way to Canada, which was the goal. You have a very strong possibility that someone in Hillsboro helped runaway slaves. Right. Those routes ran directly through Stonewall. Yeah. I don't know, it just gives me a whole new respect for everybody involved, the people that were the abolitionists and the people that took the chance to, you know, to run for their freedom. Yeah. Dalen, that was crazy when we were in John Bickford's room and the temperature went from 76 to 80 on a command. You know, I mean, it was cold. Can you get it to 80 degrees? Oh, Ooh. it went straight to oh 80 as soon as, I, as soon as I asked. 
I only think God can do stuff like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't work as <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't work got them powers. Right. If I did, boy, I'd be cooling myself down all the time. I think yeah. it was really important for us to go out to the woods because with it being a site of the Underground Railroad, mm -hmm. We really wanted to see if we could get to the bottom of if that might be some free folks getting away, you know what I'm saying, who were, who were buried there. We had a medium that came through here. Her feeling was there are several bodies. They could be from the Underground Railroad. We also brought out the excavation team. Yeah. And they said that the ground had been disturbed. Yeah. And so I felt like we had to do our due diligence and see what kind of disturbances may be out there. Dory already found three bodies. Three bodies. If you keep talking, we're going to have to go to the trunk and get a shovel. I, I would <laughs> actually recommend a an archaeologist or something like that. One of the most craziest things I experienced in this investigation was I was investigating the basement with Laura. And while we're trying to get in touch with the spirit of the little boy who seems to be attached to her. Jonathan, can you show yourself, please? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, nope. that's a, you see it? Jonathan, is that you? To your right side, Laura. We better stick figure on the SLS. And we believe it to be Jonathan. And then Laura's like, I have this. She's, as she's describing this cold sensation, like on, the, on that side of her body. I feel just cold all around me. It's like if I move my arm. As soon as you moved your arm, he moved. We got so much activity down there. And it was like, yo, we got to come back with the team and see if we can get more of the story out of Jonathan. Anyone would like to say anything, feel free to speak through this box. Skip. Skip. Whoa. Skip. 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 Okay, come on, man. He really did show up every <laughs> so many times. opportunity. Hey, hey, I'll just make it skip. Don't forget hey, about me. Skip. It's me. Mm -hmm. me skip. Don't skip me. Don't right. skip. Don't skip, skip. You know, baby. Yeah. You guys remember when we wanted to have the whiskey by the fireplace? And Good we decided, night. yeah, try to see if we can get, you know, um, the president to come out. While you set that up, I guess I'll pop the top on this bourbon. But it wasn't the president. Who was it again but Skip? Skip. God, dog, it's Skip. Skip. Now, let's pour once for Skip. All right. Give him Skip. a little taste. Go ahead and give Skip a little taste. Have a look. Wow. Oh. You think he was mad because it was four glasses and it was only three of them filled up? Skip yeah. was mad. Skip yeah. was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give me a little. Let me, let me, let me, let me oh, a taste, baby. Come on, man. It's me, baby. You know, Meg is just a different type of person. Yeah. She's very selfless. It shows a lot about her character, how she cares for the living as well as the non-living. There will be some kind of recognition for these souls that were simply buried unnamed and unmarked. It didn't seem like she was trying to just like exercise or like get people out of, you know, get whatever spirits, but really try to see why they were there. Want to understand. And more of an, yeah, you know, especially even with Skip. We're also really feeling fine with the fact that Skip hey. is with us and he's in a good place. She still has that love and, and care for him and he in turn showed that he has that same type of love by constantly showing up. Do y'all feel like Ed and Meg are at peace now? Heck yeah. Do. Well, you know you can come back anytime. We appreciate it. Keep okay. continuing the love, yeah, guys. Yeah. We gave the whole family peace. Yeah. Even Laura, with Jonathan and with her father, Skip. I think we, we killed it. Period. Ghost in a Ghost in a Thanks for watching. Keep up with the Ghost Brothers Haunted House guests and more behind the scenes action on Travel Channel Go.